Hi everyone, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and welcome back to our series on the Garmin Striker Fish Finder. And will be our final class of this tutorial series. In this series, we've done a deep dive into the Garmin Striker Fish Finder sonar and GPS features. Going in depth to give you a better understanding of all the features and capabilities of this fish finder. Now link down below in the description are all the previous classes from this series. So be sure to check those out if you haven't, so you're up to speed before we begin our final class. For this class, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your fish finder for simulation mode. But, more importantly, what features and functions can benefit you the most while in simulation mode. Now be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Let's start this class at the home screen. Now let's scroll down and select settings. Now select system, and scroll down to and select simulator. Here we're gonna have our simulator options like off, on, or setup. Let's scroll down to and select setup. Select okay. In setup, we can now define our track control, speed, or set our starting position if we wish. In all honesty, I don't go through the trouble of setting up these parameters in simulator mode because in my opinion, the GPS features and such are not functions that the simulator mode really provides a lot of add value with. With that said, let's press the back key and return to the system menu and we can see our simulator is now on. Now we're gonna go through various features and functions, and I'll show you what features work well in the simulator mode, as well as the features that don't. Now I won't be going in depth on any of these features, since all the menus and features of the Garmin Striker Fish Finder have been covered in depth in previous classes that are linked to down in the description. Now, there's one thing I do wanna cover before we get started, and that's that any menu features or options that you change while in simulation mode will be saved to the fish finder. So if you change your color, for instance, say from blue to yellow in simulator mode, when you turn your fish finder on again, the color scheme for your sonar is still gonna be yellow. So be sure to take that into account while using simulator mode. Let's start again at the home screen and select a traditional sonar. Now. Press the menu key. Here we'll have our sonar menu options. Range. You can adjust the range and learn how to use this feature while in simulator mode. However, like I've said in previous videos in general, I just tend to leave the range in auto. Gain. Adjusting the gain in simulator mode has no effect on the simulation that's being replayed. So it's best just to make your gain adjustments while on the water, which in all honesty is the best place for these adjustments anyway. Frequency. Adjusting the frequency in simulator mode will have no effect on the simulation that's playing, other than showing the selected frequency in the bottom corner of the sonar screen. Zoom. Here's a great feature that you can learn to use and master in the simulation mode. It's a good place to learn how to use the various zoom options and see which ones may or may not work for you. Overlay numbers. Within the simulation mode, you can adjust your overlay numbers and see how those changes affect your sonar screen. This gives you a chance to set the overlays you want to use and turn off the overlays and features you don't. Now let's select the sonar setup menu. Depth line. The depth line functions great in simulation mode. Turn it on and off and see what you prefer and if you'd rather use it or not. Scroll speed. The scroll speed's fully adjustable in simulation mode, so give it a try, test out each scroll speed, and see what you prefer. Color scheme. While in simulation mode, you have a great opportunity to go through all the various color schemes available on the Garmin Striker and see which color choice is your favorite. Edge feature. Turn the edge feature on and see and learn how it works to help you interpret hard or soft bottoms where you're fishing. A-scope. Works great in simulator mode and is extremely helpful in helping you learn how to interpret and understand your sonar better. Fish symbols. Turn your fish symbols on or off and see what you may prefer all while in simulation mode. Now let's go back to the sonar setup menu. Noise reject. This is another setting that doesn't function in the simulator mode to any of the changes that you make. And honestly, it's another one of the settings that's best to be adjusted while on the water. Now we're gonna look at some of our GPS functions and if they're useful in simulator mode. In my opinion, simulator mode, while functional for some GPS features, in general, I find it not that helpful. And honestly, sometimes downright frustrating to try and use. And I think that's due to the fact that the GPS and mapping functions are kind of standalone in the unit itself. And that's why the GPS will function anywhere without having to run the simulation mode. Let's start on the home screen and select waypoint map. Now, press the menu key. Waypoints, waypoint display, routes, tracks, search, zoom, map setup, and overlay numbers. All can be accessed while in simulation mode. However, it's not required, and they can be accessed just as easy without entering simulation mode. 
As you can see, the simulator mode can be very useful in helping you learn and set up your Garmin Striker Fish Finder. However, you have to be realistic in your expectations and what you're trying to accomplish. As you can see, simulator mode has the most functionality within our sonar, where you can use it to see changes to an actual underwater simulation. And though many features do work well in simulator mode, there are a few that don't. So next time you're home and you have a few free moments, hook your fish finder up to your battery, turn it on, and enter simulation mode. And then take that time to figure out what settings and features you prefer for your fish finder. I hope this video has cleared a few things up about simulator mode, and when and where it can be useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the water.